chronotropic and inotropic agents, chrono think time, chronotropic agents affect heart rate beats per minute. Inotropic agents affect contractility of the ventricles and also the stroke volume, the amount of blood ejected. Chronotropic agents increasing heart rate, sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, adrenaline or epinephrine, and thyroid hormone. Chronotropic agents that are slowing down heart rate, parasympathetic nervous system through the vagus nerve, acetylcholine, which binds to muscarinic receptors, beta blockers, which interfere with adrenaline binding to the adrenergic receptors, inotropic agents that are going to increase stroke volume and or contractility of the ventricles, sympathetic nervous system, epinephrine or adrenaline, Digitalis, which is also called digoxin, is going to cause an increase in sodium, which is going to cause an increase in calcium, and that's going to increase the contractility of muscle. Inotropic agents that are going to reduce stroke volume, systemic hypertension, systemic hypertension. What happens is the, because the pressure in the system is high, it's difficult when, as far as the volume goes, when the ventricles contract to get that volume out there because the pressure is already high. So it's pumping against a high pressure system. And that's why the stroke volume is decreased. In response, it will increase contractility eventually. But still, the stroke volume will be reduced with hyper systemic hypertension. Inotropic agent, hyper hyperkalemia, excessive potassium in the plasma. And remember here, there's an efflux of potassium when the ventricles are hyperpolarizing and then repolarizing. Think of it that way. When you have an excessive amount of potassium, it's going to reduce the contractility of the muscle. Let's look at it with the labels. Chronotropic agents increasing heart rate, sympathetic nervous system, adrenaline, thyroid hormone, Chronotropic agents reducing heart rate, parasympathetic nervous system, acetylcholine binding to muscarinic receptors, beta blockers interfering with the adrenaline binding to the adrenergic receptors. Inotropic agents affecting stroke volume and or contractility, sympathetic nervous system, adrenaline, digitalis, and digoxin are increasing the stroke volume or contractility and or contractility. Um, digoxin through the increase in intracellular sodium, and which is thus causing an increase in calcium, causing an increase in contractility. Increased afterload through increased systemic hypertension is going to reduce the stroke volume, but eventually it will result in increased contractility. Hyperkalemia, increased plasma potassium is going to reduce the contractility of the muscle. Now let's go without the labels. Chronotropic agents that are increasing heart rate, sympathetic nervous system, adrenaline, thyroid hormone, chronotropic agents that are reducing heart rate or lowering heart rate, parasympathetic nervous system through the vagus nerve, acetylcholine binding to the muscarinic receptors, beta blockers interfering with adrenaline or epinephrine. Inotropic agents that are increasing stroke volume and or contractility, sympathetic nervous system, epinephrine and or epinephrine or adrenaline, it's the same, it's a different name. Digitalis or digoxin. And again, digitalis digoxin works through an increase in intracellular sodium, which is going to cause an increase in calcium, increase in contractility. Systemic hypertension is going to cause an increased afterload, which is going to limit stroke volume, but eventually it will result in increase in contractility. Hyperkalemia, increased plasma potassium is going to reduce contractility of the muscle. Thank you for joining me today.